okay are you listening my voice is it clear means uh, you just say hi good like that yes two viewers are there i think so now three are there just you say good like that are you hearing my voice or not if it is means uh, you say just yes are you listening my voice if it is a s means you just say yes in chat box you say only five members some of them Okay, within five minutes I start class. Three minutes completed. Only two minutes are there. Okay, response. If it is clear or not. you just chat with me is it clear or not just say to me okay thank you students now i am going to start class uh, now i am going to discuss about a uh, cell cycle in cell cycle uh, generally we can expect every organism uh, involves in a cell division whether it is multicellular or unicellular whatever may be it involves in cell division that it division of cell is a uh, compulsory in all organisms whether it is reproduction or uh, any other process means uh, for the growth also cell uh, need to involve in a division so division of cell is uh, happens in a cyclic manner means uh, according to rodolfo virco rodolfo virco he discovered which one means a uh, cell division in that uh, cell division he proposed uh, omni celluloid e cellula omni celluloid e cellula means uh, every cell arises from pre existing cell every cell arises from pre existing cell 
what is the meaning of omnicellular and acellular means every cell arises from pre existing cell that pre pre existing cell also arises from where means uh, again it uh, arises from a pre existing cell so it happens in a cyclic manner how it happens in cyclic manner means uh, the cyclic manner of uh, cell division is under control of uh, genes means even a uh, division of cell also under control of which one means uh, genes so it is a genetically controlled uh, series of events as well as uh, they occur in a coordinated manner not in improper manner they happens in a coordinated manner means uh, if once uh, cell division is uh, uncontrolled means if they divide uh, themselves uh, then what happens uh, uncontrolled division takes place means it leads to cancerous condition to avoid that uh, genes control uh, in sequentially in a series of uh, reactions now when we observe here cell uh, cell cycle is uh, classified into two phases uh, sorry two phases for the easy understanding purpose uh, here cell cycle is uh, classified into two phases mainly here you can see here first uh, interphase and uh, next one here which one is uh, m phase interphase means uh, here in this phase uh, generally cell involves in which one is a uh, resting position generally in this phase uh, cell involves in which one resting position generally we think that but uh, generally we won't expect a resting position when we observe under microscope uh, we can't see apparent changes when we see this uh, interphase under microscope we can't observe an apparent phase that's why it is considered as a resting phase but it doesn't involve in a resting phase to understand a clear cut observations here again interphase is uh, divided into three phases in that first one uh, g1 phase and s phase and uh, g2 phase what is a uh, g1 phase g1 phase is a gap one phase in gap one phase uh, we can expect here division of uh, sorry growth of the cell we can expect means uh, what are the metabolic uh, activities we can expect uh, all the metabolic activities uh, takes place in a g1 g1 phase also called as here gap one phase it nearly consumes how many hours means uh, 11 hours total uh, interphase uh, consumes uh, 23 hours and m phase consumes a uh, 1 hour in 23 hours here g1 phase or gap 1 phase consumes how many hours means a uh, 11 hours in gap 1 phase or uh, g1 phase what will happens means uh, generally we can expect in gap 1 phase uh, growth as well as uh, we can expect a uh, centriole replication you need to understand here centriole replication happens in a g1 phase only but uh, duplication of centriole happens in uh, s phase what is a centriole centriole is uh, nothing but uh, two centrioles exist together and they form one uh, centrosome centriole is a hollow tube like structure generally these centrioles are uh, present uh, perpendicular to each other these are uh, just imagine this is one centriole and this is uh, another centriole they exist uh, like this it means uh, each and one uh, exist in which manner perpendicular to each other this is perpendicular to this one as well as uh, this is uh, perpendicular to this one so like this uh, these are two centrioles exist uh, together and they form one uh, centrosome this is centrosome involves in the formation of uh, which one means uh, spindle fibers generally during cell division what happens uh, they move towards opposite poles of the cell and they form which one means uh, <coughs> spindle fibers and uh, they involve in the division of a uh, cell here you can see this is which one means a uh, centrosome here we are observing uh, two centrioles so these centrioles uh, replication starts in a g1 phase these centrioles replication starts in which one g1 phase but uh, they duplicate uh, in which phase means uh, s phase remember it is very important point you need to understand in g1 phase uh, they replicate but in uh, s phase uh, they duplicate means uh, <coughs> Uh, duplication of centrioles happens in s phase only but uh, in g1 phase uh, we can expect uh, which one initiation of uh, replication initiation of replication of which one centrioles all right now after completion of g1 phase what we can expecting in g1 phase metabolic activities are happens uh, continuously as well as uh, that cell grows uh, continuously and uh, we can expect synthesis of proteins and rna and replication of centrioles 
what events are we are expecting first one which one cell grows metabolic activity uh, sorry metabolic activities happens for stream as well as the next which one rna and proteins are synthesized and a replication is initiated which replication centriole replication is initiated next one other biochemical molecules which are required uh, that biomolecules are also synthesized in a gap one phase means g1 phase is the first phase in which one means uh, interphase interphase is a resting phase we considered but in that also we are expecting so many metabolic activities we can't see apparent changes in a microscope when we observe the cell under microscope okay right next uh, after uh, completion of g1 phase uh, it enters into s phase it is most important in cell cycle in s phase we can expect a uh, we say synthetic phase or synthesis phase in this phase we can expect uh, expect a replication of a uh, cells sorry replication of a uh, genetic material that is nothing but a uh, dna when dna replicates it produces a uh, two copies it produces how many copies two copies s phase uh, it consumes uh, how many hours means uh, eight hours s phase uh, it consumes how many hours eight hours it consumes in this phase we can expect a uh, replication of which one dna if a cell is haploid it produces a, for example if cell has a five chromosomes if cell has a five chromosomes haploid cell when it involves in a s phase after completion of s phase also we can expect how many chromosomes five chromosomes only but the number of copies increases remember very very important here you need to understand number of chromosomes there is no change before s phase also how many number of chromosomes are present after uh, s phase also number of chromosomes are same whether it is haploid or diploid whatever may be number of chromosomes are uh, same but uh, number of copies uh, will increases number of copies is, copies increases for example uh, before uh, s phase uh, if the chromosomes are like this if the chromosomes are like this uh, after uh, completion of s phase uh, we can say like this chromosomes means here we are expecting a one copy but here we are expecting a two copies but number of chromosomes are how many here also two and here also two means the number of chromosomes are same after completion of s phase but number of copies are increased so you need to understand like this here whether it is haploid or diploid after completion of s phase we can expect which one there is no change in the number of chromosomes only change in the number of uh, copies only change in the number of copies for the completion of s phase uh, we can expect uh, how much time means uh, eight hours after completion of s phase it enters into g2 phase g2 phase, uh, phase uh, requires uh, how many hours means uh, four hours g2 phase uh, requires uh, how many hours four hours in this phase uh, we can expect a uh, duplication of which one means uh, mitochondria precursor of uh, spindle fibers are produced as well as a uh, chromosomes uh, starts the condensation inside the nucleus uh, we can expect presence of which one chromatin inside the nucleus we can expect a uh, presence of chromatin then chromatin uh, starts which one means a uh, condensation chromosomes uh, starts a uh, condensation when they start condensation we can expect here formation of uh, chromosomes condensation means nothing but we observed uh, which one beads on swing like structure no that beads on swing like structure is uh, nothing but which one is a uh, chromatin that chromatin uh, slowly involves in a uh, wrapping itself and it produces which one condensation after condensation it produces a uh, chromosomes so here number of uh, cell organelles also increases in which one means a uh, g2 phase up to now we discussed a uh, g1 phase s phase and g2 phase in g1 phase what will happen it consumes uh, 11 hours to finish metabolical activities uh, happens rapidly and the second one uh, here replication of uh, centriole is initiated and uh, third one rna and proteins are synthesized uh, some other biochemical molecules are uh, produced in a g1 phase gap one phase are uh, we say g1 phase it consumes 11 hours next one s phase in s phase uh, what will happen means uh, synthesis of our uh, dna it means uh, dna replicates and it produces which one means uh, two copies means uh, if one copy is present uh, it uh, turns into two copies if it has a two copies means it turns into four copies but uh, now number of chromosomes uh, there is no change next uh, duplication of centrioles also happens in where 
in a S phase only. Means in synthetic phase only, duplication of a which one? DNA or the chromosomes uh, takes place. Next, uh, G2 phase. In G2 phase, uh, mitochondria involves in a divide, division as well as a precursor of a uh, spindle fibers. Spindle fibers they involve in which one means a uh, movement of chromosomes. Uh, from a one pole to another pole, uh, we can expect with that for spindle fibers only. You know that spindle fibers are uh, uh, so for the formation of spindle fibers, uh, we require some uh, precursors. Precursor means a uh, precursor means a uh, first structures. These first structures are uh, produced uh, with the help of which one means uh, these are centrioles only. Means a uh, precursor of uh, spindle fibers are uh, produced in a G2 phase. Next. Uh, <laughs> number of uh, cell organelles also increases. Number of cell also increases. Right. Up, up in a cell cycle. Means uh, some of the cells uh, they lose uh, their dividing capacity. They won't enter into cell cycle. Means uh, they exit as one phase. They phase. Okay. When they enter into the cell, enter into another one is a uh, cytokinesis. Karyokinesis is a division of nucleus. Cytokinesis means a division of cytoplasm. In karyokinesis, again, uh, we can expect a four phase that is the prophase, metaphase, anaphase. Question is onion root tip cell has a 14 chromosomes. Onion root tip cell has a 14 chromosomes. Can you tell how many chromosomes will the cell have at a G1 phase, after S phase, and after M phase? Once more, here the question onion root tip cell has a 14 chromosomes. Can you tell how many chromosomes will the cell have at a G1 phase, after S phase, and after a M phase? Give your answer in the comment box. It's a simple question. If you understand regarding S phase, you can able to answer this question. Right. One more thing you need to understand here. These centrioles are uh, present in animal cells only, not in uh, plant cells. In animal cells only, we can expect brands of centrioles, not in uh, plant cells. Then how we can expect in uh, cell division in plant cells means uh, during cell division only, these centrioles emerges or uh, produced. Next, cell cycle. For cell cycle, uh, we can expect uh, different time periods uh, for uh, different cells. Means we can expect a variation in uh, cell division of uh, different uh, cells. For example, human cell, if we culture in a culture medium, it consumes uh, 24 hours. Means uh, you need to understand here 97% of the time is uh, spent uh, cell in which phase means uh, in interface. In interface only, that cell uh, spent uh, more time and uh, next 95% uh, <coughs> of the time period is spent in interface only by cell in a cell cycle. Next one, yeast cell, it uh, replicates uh, for replication, it takes uh, 20 minutes, sorry, 90 minutes. It takes how many minutes? 90 minutes uh, for the replication of uh, which one means uh, yeast cell. So like this, uh, we can expect a variation for the finishing of which one means uh, cell cycle. Okay, thank you. Remaining, uh, if you have any doubts, uh, tell in comment box and um, I will uh, take a class uh, in next session that is uh, mitosis. Thank you.